Okay, in previous video, we have seen how different internal log files Splunk generates, right? And while doing that, we started with the Splunk log, and we have seen how we can see the file monitoring logs in the Splunk D, right? Now, in this particular video, we will see how we can see the logs or basically analyze the logs about the scripted input and the modular input over there okay now for scripted input we have seen like the main component will be the exec processor over here okay now let us bef before we see that one let us try to see how scripted input works in splunk okay as we have seen before in our tmdb scripted input video over there so what happened we basically creates a script file it could be a python file or exe file or shell script over there right now so there will be a processor called exec processor over here okay so so f this exec processor what it do it basically calls this particular script with some kind of inputs over there arguments over there and what the script do it's basically run that particular whatever whatever script we have written it over here it runs that code and sends the data back to this guy over here okay that's the communication mode it works over there right for script but it's very very easy to understand and then once this guy received the data over here so it's it sent the data to our next queue which is parsing queue which we still not see how to see the logs for parsing queue. we will see it in future videos okay so that is how a scripted input works now there is another concept called modular input in splunk okay which i still not discussed in my channel maybe in the next video i will try to post that one because i think this is the high time i should discuss that part as well but let us take a overview of how the modular input works as well over here okay so if i just okay so for the scripted input as i as i said the component name will be exec processor over here when we will see in the internal index that's it okay now when we move to modular input so there will be a modular input processor over there okay now for modular input things are actually little bit different compared to the scripted input because in the modular input you need to define a schema okay for schema means we, we will see that when we will see the demo of a modular input over here today as well okay so so we and that particular schema we generally defined inside our script file only so the modular input processor it do two stuff first it will try to understand the schema try to get the schema first okay so this modular input processor first it die to see the scheme this is called modular input scheme basically okay this is the first call it do and the second call it do we when it runs the actual script for indexing purpose okay so that means we still have our script file we have our modular input processor it runs the script with certain arguments and the script returns the data over here then it pass to the next queue call or parsing queue over here okay if you see for modular input this this scheme part is little bit different over here okay and we will see what what scheme is maybe in the next video we will see in much detail how to create a modular input as well okay so hopefully we got a better idea about scripted input and modular input and now for modular input as it it provides it has two different parts for the modular input which basically deals with the running the file and for the indexing purpose it again do with the same exact processor over here okay as we have seen in the scripted input and the part which basically checks the scheme it actually the component name is modular inputs over here in the internal index so that's the two stuff we need to remember over here okay so now let's see an example of a scripted input and the modular input in our internal index over there okay okay now first we will start with the scripted input so as you know in in my video i have created for the tmdb scripted input so we will try to see through the same same script today okay so for that what i'll do is i have installed the tmdb app so if you do not have it you can install in your local as well okay and and if you see like whatever examples we are seeing it over here i am currently doing it for my local the same stuff will work for if you are in the cluster environment as well okay so if i go to bin 
and the tmdb upcoming dot py that the script uh, we have created before right now let us first try to see from my settings data inputs if i have that input enabled or not i'll go to scripts okay so tmdb upcoming currently it is disabled i'll enable it but before doing the enablement what i'll do is i will purposefully add some errors over here okay so ideally when this code will run this should give me an indentation error because python is uh, python requires the proper indentation over here right so let us try to see what kind of logs it is generating over there so what i'll do is we will go to search and reporting okay so we will go to index equals to underscore internal and then source type equals to splunk d that is what we have seen in my previous video as well how to see the splunk d logs correct and we will do it for the last 15 minutes okay so currently there there will be no error because i still not enable that script okay now over here if you see the components currently it is in having this matrices periodic health reporter those stuff over here now let us try to enable that particular script over here and see how what kind of error we are getting so if i just run it for last 15 minutes okay so let us see how how the script is getting over here if you see the exec processor got kicked in even the modular inputs got kicked in as well okay so what i'll do is i'll first go to the exec processor over here okay now if you see it is complaining about this tmdb un underscore upcoming dot py and it is it has given the same error indentation or error over here okay so that's the stuff even to be more specific to just to get the error messages you can select from the log level error over here as well okay so currently it is giving me error for all the different places like all the python stack trace for that tmdb underscore upcoming dot py file over here okay so that's the stuff for the exec processor now let us try to see what 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 we get for the modular inputs over here okay now if you see does it have the tmdb over here maybe not but it, it it the modular input basically generally periodically checks what are the different modular inputs you have in your system and then and it checks basically that scheme and 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 do some kind of logging over here in the in internal index as well we'll see for one modular input today okay so so now we see like how we can basically get the errors for your scripted input using the exact exact processor over here okay now let us fix that error let me keep it over here in this proper indentation okay now let me just enable disable the script so that we do not need to wait for the script run disabled enabled it okay now let us if i just do it for the last 15 minutes okay and select over here the component exec processor over here if you see for the tmdb upcoming now it is saying the new schedule exec process right that means it is trying to run the script to index the data into splunk even it has given some interval as well which we have defined it over here the 60 seconds over here it's 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 give always given in, in in a millisecond over here okay now let us try to explore one one thing over here okay generally you will you will not need that in your production environment and maybe in most of the times you won't be doing that one it's called like as i show you in the previous video like we will try to enable the debug mode for this exec processor okay and see what kind of stuff it is basically printing it over here or basically logging it over here so what i'll do we'll go to settings we'll go to server settings okay we will go to server logging over here we will search for exec over here so for the exec processor currently the logging level is info i will make it as debug over here and save it okay so now if i just do the disable enable so this, this disable enable i am doing just because i don't i do not want it to wait for one minute and that that's it okay now 
if i just run it now this guy over here if you see for the tmdb upcoming now it is it is logging more over here if you, if if you see the it is setting some pipelines over here so if i this is the latest event if i just search for tmdb over here it will be more easier to understand okay now so if you see this all if if i if we just go to, go through it like all the different pipeline level details it is it is logging it over here one by one right when it is running that script what kind of configurations we have done for that particular script like what will be the interval everything everything it is it is logging it over here okay so this is the debug log over here and if you see it is generating huge volume of log over here that's why for most of the times it is not recommended okay so that that's how you enable the debug log for a particular component and and see it over there okay i just did it because i just wanted to explore this stuff that's it okay and and, and most of the times like the logging if you see like for the log level was info previously right it was also logging the error level details as well over here and most of the times those details are sufficient enough for fixing that particular issue for for the scripted input over here okay now that was for the scripted input now for the modular input what i have done it over here is i have taken a sample modular input called hello underscore modular input over here okay if you see it so this is a very simple script if i just show you over here if you do not understand modular input uh, no need to worry about that i will be discussing all the scheme valid arguments th those stuff in in the in the next video okay it's just like simple um, simple modular input over here it is doing nothing okay but as i said the scheme part right if i just go to settings data inputs okay if you see the hello will be coming up over here so that's the difference between a modular input and the scripted input scripted inputs will be part of the scripts one over here Th these are all the predefined modular inputs in splunk right and you can create a script for a for this particular scripts modular input in splunk now when you create your own modular input it will be listed with other predefined modular inputs over here in this particular page in the data input page over here okay and you can create your own this thing so over here if i just go to hello and click on new so you can define your own inputs over here like name whatever currently it is it is just the dummy one but you can create your own parts over here ui elements over here okay so this is this is nothing but the scheme over here okay we'll see in the next video let's not bother about that part over here i'll just give some name over here i will give some something over here let's say again my name okay and i'll be clicking on next it's just as it is doing nothing over here okay but we are mainly bothering about how the logging is happening over here right so I will remove till the component. We are still in Splunk D for last 15 minutes. Now, if I just go to component, as I said, for the modular input, we have two processors, right? Two components. One is this modular inputs, another is this exec processor. For the modular inputs, it's basically do the into introspections over here. So, if I just search for hello, it and and if you see it over here for the component modular input it is saying introspection setup completed for the scheme hello okay so as as we have seen it over here as we have seen it over here for the scheme part so this will be the, our component name right and for the execution part the exec processor will be our component name as only okay as we have seen it in the scripted input stuff over here so if i just now remove this and select the component exec processor over here for for let's say hello over here you should be finding some input over here some details over here and if you see like it is it is giving me the details of that it is basically saying new schedule exec processor for for the this hello.py over here just like our scripted input over here okay so that's the concept behind the scripted input and the modular input and how to find 
the logs related to those in Splunk internal log. Okay. Now in the next video, first we will talk about the modular input. Maybe that will be part of the separate playlist, not in this particular playlist. And then we will move on to some other stuff over there. Okay. So hopefully this video was helpful. See you in next video.